Hello everyone, welcome to my Nature Diaries. This month we had a great opportunity to go visit uh, a special place and it's the Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge and it's a home and a sanctuary for marsh birds including this trumpeter swan that you see on the bottom left of my nature diary and then on the right hand side I wanted to put in the great egret or it's a white egret and I have never seen these before in the wild. I've seen quite a few different birds but never these so I wanted to really capture both of them and record this as a special moment in my nature diary. So I'm just laying down this wash of blue, uh, I believe it's a ultramarine blue, and then I did use a little bit of sap green in there as well, but I'm just going to do a wash to begin with, and then as I progress with this little um, painting, I'm going to be adding some other colors. I'll be layering some blues and greens on, on top of it, and you can kind of see it right there. So as I'm adding the greenery, shrubs, and trees behind the white egret, you can see it's starting to really show. And I thought this little composition would really help to just uh, highlight the white egret because they are really stately and elegant birds, just so beautiful. Adding some reflections of the trees and the shrubs in the water, just to kind of make it feel a little bit more realistic. And you can see I added some more layers to the water as well. Now I'm going to ink a little bit of the bird. I'm not going to do a whole lot of detail in it. I just want to really give you a, an idea. This is a very simple illustration of the white egret. Just some very simple, basic, again, um, outline of the bird, of the egret, and we're just making a simple illustration. Not too concerned about making it hyper-realistic, it's just, uh, again, a memory for me. And then adding some details on the water. I really love this part when I start adding um, shading, I'm sh adding shading to the bird and um, inking, it just really helps the composition to come alive. Have to color in that beak, such a bright orange, yellowy orange, and yeah, so pretty. And then I'm just, to make it feel like a marsh, you know, we have to have marsh grasses, so I'm just putting those in with that burnt sienna, I believe. And um, I did add some green as well to it. And that's really what a marsh is like. It's pretty amazing, very shallow water. Finishing up these last details before I do some more inking. And with a composition like this, I really had to wait a while in between painting just to make sure that the layers were dry. This Strathmore watercolor book has been, it's done pretty well. It doesn't take a whole lot of water, but it's not done badly at all with just watercolor and ink. I've, I'm enjoying it so far. Just adding some more water movement around the grass as well. And again, the ink I am using and all the supplies will be listed in the description box below. And I'm adding some details, some reflections of these reed grasses, marsh grasses with some more burnt sienna. And then I'm using a gray to just kind of uh, show the reflection also of the egret's legs in the water. Now it's time for the lines and I just use a mechanical pencil for that. And I'm using my Kaveco fountain pen from jetpens.com. Information will be in the description box. And for the information about the great egret, I looked it up on All About Birds. This is my go-to site for any kind of bird information, unless I use my uh, bird manuals. I do have the textbooks as well.
I'm so glad that I am forcing myself to write and to really just take the time to put in all this information because I really learned so much when I was um, looking up all about the egrets and I found out things that I wouldn't have known and it would have been fun to have known it when I went to the the National Refuge. I'm like, oh, why didn't I know it then? So I would have learned something there, but I'm really glad that I took the time to do this and learn about it for the next time we go visit because it's not that far away. At the very end of this video is a bonus clip and we caught a great egret and it was hovering, which is a way that they fish and we were able to capture it on camera and we're so excited to be able to see it in action. So you'll want to wait for that. Well, that's it for this week for my nature diaries. I hope you were inspired. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did in any way, form or shape, please make sure that you like, subscribe and comment. Let me know. Have you ever been to a national wildlife refuge place or have you seen these birds? I have never seen either one of these in the wild. So it was really exciting. And I hope that you'll continue to follow me as I fill up this nature journal one entry and video at a time. All right, we'll see you next time and watch the clip. Bye.